Welcome back to the Four Seasons. I'm your host, Ken Johnson. And you may not know it, but this right here is a camera. Now, we've all seen these camera sunglasses. If you go to Walmart, they have some for $250 that you can purchase. Now, you may not know it, but I'm cheap. And so, this is a $22 eBay special. You can see these all day long. They say that they're 1080p high definition sunglasses. Now, the way these work. This right here is your SD card reader. And I'll get that out so that these little cards, if you see YouTubers that are doing any type of outdoor stuff, these cards are the bane of our existence because if we drop them, it's night at a boat ramp or something, are we changing out cards? Uh, yeah, you lost all your content. Now, this right here has a port, and so that's to charge up the battery. From there, and different models have different things. This is how this model is. This right here, you press the on button, and then right here, you press that, and then you can video record. And so, as you know from the previous video, I entered a bass tournament. The day before, I went to the launch location for a tournament and did some fishing with a friend of mine and his daughter. Uh, so y'all seen Josh um, Zajac, he um, buddy of mine, and so he was he had his youngest daughter with him, Lydia, and so we went fishing at the park. This right here is the camera part right here. So I'm going to show you some video of this uh, right here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So, so guys, this is my buddy Josh and this is little daughter Lydia. Hey Lydia. So I was just talking about how the city needs to to change how they do things, make this a little bit more fishable, and Josh, Josh just showed me that fish make a liar out of you every time. He he called for me when I cut off the right when I was cutting off the video, and about five foot from the from the bank there was this bass. So that's awesome. And that's about a year and a half old bass right there. So that's awesome hooked into a brim. It's been a long time coming, but we got a brim. I knew that if I can get some shade and deeper water, we got a bluegill. Actually, this looks like it's a bluegill shell cracker cross. It's, it's not a red, it's got more bluegill than anything, but you see those spots and everything. Hey, Josh! No. You want him or not? That's not pretty serious. I don't think it's big enough to eat. Okay. Oops. Here, let's. Here we go. See him? See the fish? All right, let's release him. Let's let him go. All right. Things are better now. I didn't get skunked. All right. 
Well, as you can see, this is not a 1080p camera. A lot of the Chinese-made cameras, they, they don't do what they're supposed to do. And so what they'll do is take a lower quality camera and then they'll change the formatting to where it reads as 1080p, but it's not. And I, I bought some cheap cameras before that they were like this, just real low quality, and they even said that they're 4K when they're not. So uh, that's one of the things you have to realize is that a lot of these cheaper cameras, they're cheap for a reason. Um, and so this, this company, I mean, they don't even list the company name. Uh, one of the issues that I had, look at, uh, this is my eyes. You see where it's at right there? There's that, my eyeballs are right here. So when I'm taking video, you have to actually look down below where you're looking at to take video, which is kind of stupid. So the, the camera itself is misplaced. It needs to be lowered down. Um, they, they could have fixed that, but they didn't. That's a design flaw of this. And a lot of cameras have that same design flaw. So you could easily spend $250, but if you're not careful about that, that's an issue. Resolution, yeah, that's going to be a huge issue. The sound on it wasn't that bad. It could have been better, but for, I, I won't say too much about that. Picture quality was an issue. Another thing, I, I took this as a backup um, in case I had a problem with my action camera. So I use a Caso EK7000. That is my action camera that I use for when I'm fishing. Um, if I do any hunting, you'll see it. That is my action camera. And I've been very happy with the Acaso. Um, in fact, if they ever want to sponsor me, I would love to get a Brave model. I, have, I, I, I would love to get my hands on the Brave model. Uh, they got a few versions of the Brave and the Brave 8, um, it looks fantastic. I've heard nothing but good comments about it. Uh, but the EK7000, I've been very happy with. Um, and so that's one that I'm filming right now with. So you're, you're looking through the um, Akaso EK7000. Uh, this was supposed to be my backup. If you look at the um, footage, there was some, you might, might have seen some grass and some other structure maybe with the Acaso. The Acaso has way better optics. Well, this is supposed to be polarized sunglasses. When, when, when I put these on, I could not see anything. So I actually, I had to take off my sunglasses that were supposed to be polarized. If you know anything about fishing, you use polarized glasses to see in the water because you can see better with polarized glasses than you can with the naked eye. These sunglasses were so much a piece of garbage that I had to take them off in order to see the fish, um, which is not good when you're trying to fish. Another issue that we had is the, um, the date. You probably saw the date. Not only could I not change the date and time to be accurate, it wouldn't go away. And I don't want dates and times on my YouTube footage. I think the kicker of it all was in the instructions, it says it is not for use for creating content. So they tell you that they know that their camera is so much of a piece of garbage that it's really not to be used the way that you intend to use it. So, my, for my two cents, don't buy these. Um, 
And if you do buy a pair of these sunglasses, be very cautious what you buy. Look it over real hard. Don't don't just go online and say, okay, oh, they're twenty dollars or they're forty dollars. Look them over very well. Uh, actually, you know, go into the store if they have it. Uh, look and see what the video footage looks like, uh, and see whether or not it's something that is conducive to what you're wanting and that they're actually giving you what they say they are. Another thing to realize, these glasses are not waterproof. My Casa is. So that's another thing to keep in mind, but like I said, for my two cents, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, buyer beware. I just thought I'd give this little bit, little bit of review. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I will see you again next time. Bye.